Hi Taurus, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and I am so grateful that you guys are here, and I'm sorry for the wait. My family and I moved. This is my new backyard, and I am so excited to share it with you guys. Um, there's so many different areas that I can sit in and record um, and just be at peace with you guys, so I'm very, very excited for what's to come. Um, but welcome back, and I'm so happy to be here. This is gonna be for Taurus Any Placement, uh, it is July 2022, however, energy is fluid. So some of you may resonate with this in the past. Maybe it's something that's going on now, or you might start to see some of this manifest anywhere between now and the next three months. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. You guys, if at any time I resonate with you, please hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with my blessing and my prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Taurus in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses Taurus may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Some of you could be dealing with mother wounds, okay? That's what I'm being shown here or mother wounds you know maybe working through certain situations or toxic situations that took place with women in your family cycles or patterns things along that nature or even your first experiences uh with a mother-like figure could be coming up and you're needing to decipher how that um plays out in your life okay you have, don't let your past hold you back. This is interesting because Aries had this as their first card too. This is South Node. So it's important for you to find out what your South Node is, okay? But not letting your, your past hold you back. Allowing yourself to break free from any perceptions, beliefs, patterns, ways of being um, that no longer serve you. Okay, you don't have to, just because you were taught something as a child, it doesn't mean you have to be that way as an adult, okay? So if there's something that's blocking you or getting in the way, you can remove that. You also have your commitment is being tested. So what is commitment to you, Taurus, okay? Because I don't feel like this is just about a relationship. I feel like this is about your commitment to self, your commitment to growth, your new life, your commitment to pushing yourself harder, however you wanna place that in your life, it's being tested, okay? Do you, are you as strong as you say you are? Are you going to achieve and accomplish the goals that you want to? Because it takes work, right? Sorry, that's my daughter's TV. It's She's in the house and you can hear that. Uh, then you have surrendered to the divine. Yes. So this is a time period for you to release anything that's been holding you back but also it's learning to let go and let god all right on the bottom you have confidence is your key to success listen you have to you have to not let what anyone else thinks or believes about you that can't bother you underneath that you have north node step out of your comfort zone so you have south node and north node so did aries um you may be dealing with an aries maybe you want to check out that reading but it's very interesting here it seems like all of the signs are kind of going through the same transition or transformation. You know exactly who you are, Taurus. I feel like a lot of you, when you're sitting alone at home or when you're around people that you've known for quite some time, you are very comfortable and confident in your own skin. And for some of you, this test that you're going through right now, it's about staying true to that person and that character, no matter where you are and no matter who you're around. It doesn't matter what you've been through or what anyone has said to you in the past, okay? You're creating your new future and you don't wanna bring that energy with you anymore. All right, let's take a look here. All right, you have the nine of wands as current energy. So 
I do see you taking your difficulties and using them as a step stool to get you to the next level, which is a great uh, way of doing things. You also have page of coins. Okay. So page of pentacles here is a recent past, not receiving enough. Okay. You're showing up as the empress here. Um, check out Aries reading. They showed up as the empress too. Outside energy is the emperor. What is this Taurus? So your divine counterpart is here. Could be dealing with another Taurus, Libra, Aries energy. Okay, you have Leo as well on the table. You have the Three of Swords as a challenge. You have the Five of Cups as the next steps of action. And then you have the Eight of Swords as the outcome. This is you releasing your past. You're going to be asked to do something different, to, to, to move differently. And, and it has to do with the divine counterpart, divine relationship. All right, you have the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Wow, and here you are with the Hierophant, the Sun, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups. You're confused about a connection or a commitment, okay? Your commitment is being tested. I feel like you've been going back and forth. You may have more than one option here as well, Taurus. You may have been talking to more than one person because I do have the three of cups and the two of coins. So there's a decision now. But something is, oh my goodness, look at this Hierophant and the Emperor. Something is going to be revealed to you. You've opened Pandora's box. And then the Emperor is coming out of his box. He's, he's stepping out of his comfort zone here. You have some type of clarity, truth, or conversation that's coming to you, Taurus, that is faded. Um, you're in the process of closing out a very big soul cycle. This was a soul lesson. I feel like there may have been a lot of karma involved in this soul lesson, okay? Current energy, nine of wands. Like I said, I do feel like you're using your pain as passion and you're allowing this, this growth and this transition to take place. That branch right here, it keeps making me think it's like a piece of my hair sticking out. That's funny. All right, 10 of pentacles, four of pentacles, and the queen of swords. You have your eye on the prize. You have your eye on the pri prize, king of wands on the bottom. There are a lot of eyes on you right now, Taurus. Yes, there are. King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, A, you're very, very selective, but you're also trying to block out some type of temptation or any type of toxic commitment, communication. All right, I'll keep commitment. I was going to take it out, but Ten of Pentacles is here, so... Why do I feel like you're lurking or you're waiting or you're like, like, look at this queen of swords, the nine of wands. You want a commitment or an investment. I feel like this has to do with money and love at the same time. You're struggling though with letting go of a particular belief or perception. It has to do with the pain that you've been through, Taurus, okay, with this Nine of Wands. So there's like hesitancy with moving forward or maybe even like taking initiative on a possible um, commitment investment here. And it has to do with an outdated perception with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Okay, I see what this is. So Taurus, you've transitioned all these readings that we've been doing in the past about your growth and it's coming. A lot of you have already transitioned, transformed. You are the Empress. That's why you have the Empress and the Emperor. Okay, so give or take male or female. We have the Empress and the Emperor here. I feel where your confusion is coming in and how you're being tested right now is with this page of coins as a recent past, you've often been given less than what you deserve, right? You know that you're worth way more than what you have been receiving in the past or allowing yourself to accept. Um, there was a small piece of information or knowledge that was given to you in the past here, recent past that I think made you look at relationships, friendships, situations, life very, very differently. Let me, let me clarify. This is, this is different than 
the massive growth in that past X that we've been talking about, okay? I'm talking about another situation after that growth and that healing of that X that we've been seeing. Something else presented itself to you and you had to navigate it differently than you have before. It was a new uh, situation. It may have been even like a new conflict, right? Like a, a, a new conflict with new people. And you were like, wait a minute, I just got done healing. Why am I, why is there conflict being thrown my way? Okay, but you handled it like the empress that you are. You handled it like a G um, or emperor. But that's what I'm getting with this page of coins. And so you're in this energy right now, your test, your lesson right now is learning how to navigate as your new person. You, Yeah, Aries had such a similar reading. They're gaining their footing. They're doing the same thing. So here you are. You're learning how to navigate yourself. It's new water. You're a whole new person. Clarify this page of points. I feel like some of you may have already had an experience where um, in your new person, you may have wanted something and asked for something and received it almost immediately like the manifestation was within a few days that's how you know that you've transitioned and moved into emperor emperor status okay let's see about this page of coins what's going on here four of swords yeah you were like no page of swords somebody was starting drama king of swords somebody was starting drama okay you have king and queen of swords and the two of cups here yeah so there was a connection here with somebody taurus there was a connection, whether you recognized it or not. This is recent past because I don't feel like this is the XX. But there was a connection or a situation recently where you may have cut it off quickly just because of what you've been through in the past. So this was you utilizing that new energy. I feel like there was a king here, though, who came off as a page. They may have. That's okay. People make mistakes. But there was something that was revealed and you felt like you were going backwards. You felt like you were going backwards. Clarify the Empress, please, for Taurus current energy. Somebody just, and this person may have also, you may have also learned some type of truth or knowledge that just really made you change your mind about the whole situation. All right, the Empress, you have the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups. interesting and justice on the bottom you have the world <sighs> could be dealing with the libra you don't have to be you do have air here um aries as well so with this empress it's the same thing i feel like you're trying to gain your footing you seem to be hesitating a lot more than usual when when it comes to making decisions um you are celebrating you are in a place of happiness but i feel like you 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 don't want to lose your footing you don't want to get off balance again so you're being extremely cautious and aware of who you are in the presence that you're in at this moment you are receiving your karmic reward you are receiving your karmic blessing at this time and I do feel like there are people that are coming towards you and you're recognizing right off the bat, I don't think we're vibing. I don't think you're, I mean, that's Emmy, everybody. Hi, Emmy. Um, I have another one. Oh, but he's laying fat cat over there. That His name's Milky. Um, but there seems to be maybe an offer that's coming in. And this person's intentions are great, but you're the empress and they're coming through as a page. I mean, there's really no comparison, right? Or at least that's how you're viewing them. But with justice in the world and the emperor here, they may be coming back as a whole new person. Clarify this emperor, please, for energy towards Taurus. I feel like there's somebody that's trying to break through a box or break through an outdated um, perception or belief system. Because this is somebody who does feel very, very stuck in their ways, but they're elevating so it's almost like it tricks other people, right? This person is elevated or woke, but they're still stuck in some type of conditioning that they're trying to break out of. Clarify this emperor, please. Coming towards Taurus. King of Wands, so it really could be an Aries. You have uh, the Chariot, Cancer, and the Nine of Pentacles. Ugh, and the Page of Wands. So this person has made a decision and they are on their way to you. They don't care what you have to say. No, they don't. This person is your divine counterpart and you're going to you're gonna maybe miss it because of your heartbreak. Now, we're going to get into this. This is why you need to be confident. 
when those thoughts of doubt enter your mind, you need to let them go. Um, I mean, not right now. We don't want to hear that. You have someone who is very attracted to you. You have no clue. I don't even think you know who it is. Even if you're talking to other people, you may have this idea, this thought that maybe they don't like you as much as you do or the attraction was off. No, no, no. They're coming towards you very quickly. You have the chariot. They've made a decision. You also have the page of wands, the 10 of cups, the ace of pentacles, and the two of cups, again, with the 10 of swords. So I know that this could be somebody that you're not communicating with right now. Um, or that you just kind of felt like it wasn't it wasn't a match it wasn't gonna work and you kind of let it go the reason why you felt like that though is this three of swords which is your challenge this person sees you as you know being someone that could bring them a lot of happiness fulfillment okay there's a, a very bright future here that they see with you but your challenge this month is the three of swords how are you going to fully get rid of this heartbreak um there's you know there's a difference between there's a difference between bringing your past with you and living in it and transmuting the past and utilizing it as a tool okay you are looking to gain clarity from these lessons so that you can move out of a period of confusion Taurus because I see a lot of sadness and I see a lot of fear you the whole beginning part of your reading is this beautiful energy is racing towards you and when this beautiful energy comes towards you 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 pause you stop you sabotage you freak out and you walk away all right so with the five of cups and the eight of swords this lets me know that there's still fears that have not fully been worked through with this three of swords this heartbreak this betrayal clarify this five of cups please in the eight of swords somebody really wants to make something right clarify this y'all it's 110 degrees out here so just bear with me high priestess ten of swords mm, two of cups and temperance i can't make this up this person wants to fix it high priestess ten of swords two of cups there was something hidden here why did it end what was the betrayal you had a, an inner knowing you knew that this was going to happen there's a deep connection here though look at the green ribbon it's like no matter how much pain no matter how much distance no matter how much there's still this connection to your heart chakra with this person there's also this knowing that something is coming towards you and i think some of you may know that this person is on their way you have the eight of wands here the second fastest moving card with the four of wands and the six of cups you have a real soulmate that is coming out of nowhere you do know this person um this may be somebody who's gone through a heartbreak you went through a heartbreak it doesn't have to be this toxic ex toxic ex coming in because i don't actually feel like that's who it is i think this is someone new that you may have just kind of been like lightly connecting with taurus um and then there was like a brief pause there's a shift a change in energy there was heartbreak there may have been a third party there was confusion involved and now there's regret and remorse and somebody wanting to come forward and and fix it but you're, this is about you trying to see things from a higher space, right? Not seeing things the same way that you've seen them in the past before. Closing messages, please. Clarify this for me. It's almost like somebody sees where they need to take accountability. Yeah, they're coming to clear the air, the star. Very, very hopeful. This is a deep spiritual healing and cleansing that I feel you guys went through individually and this person's had like some type of change of heart here. But you need to be careful that you don't block this new beginning. Two of Swords, the Fool, and the Five of Cups. But the Five and the Five actually make the Ten of Cups. It's like two heartbreaks make a whole. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate, Taurus, and it's it's presenting itself to you as a life situation right off the bat. Because love, unconditional love, you navigate it differently than you did in those karmic relationships. 
So this is a time of pause and reflection, Taurus, for you to realize, is this a connection that's worth salvaging? How do I continue to align myself to the highest good so that I can stay in vibration and in frequency with this soulmate? Because you have somebody who is cut from the same cloth and they are in your energy. So if you haven't met them yet, you will be meeting them soon. Some of you may be in this pause right now and there's a transition that's gonna be taking place very quickly because the chariot and the eight of wands is here. You just need to surrender. This is about allowing things to take their natural course, praying about them for the outcome, and then receiving the guidance and the blessing. Taurus, I'm sending you guys much love, and I'm so happy to be back. Bye.